Boom, what up? Solar Renekton only here, back doing some more League of Legends action. You're playing Master Yi in the top lane against a Mordekaiser. Good luck, sir. Take that, punk. Oh, did he dodge my Q damage? I think he did. First blood already in the bot lane. Got him. Keep the pressure on him. Ah, uh, yeah, we're going to do an Ardent Sensor build, so it's going to be Rylai slash... It's going to be Rylai slash Leandries first. And I think this game, it'll probably be Rylai. Actually, when he presses ultimate, it can't be slowed. Oh, yeah. Hmm, alright, I'll think about that. I'm not sure. It'll be either Rylai's or Leandries first, and then I do Ardent Sensor second. Then after the Ardent Sensor, you get either Rylai's or Leandries, whatever one you didn't get first. So I'll still have them all three uh, core items. My first three build, or first three items. And then after that, you can get Azania's, you're good to go. If you need to, you can get Azania's earlier, that's fine. But yeah, we're trying to get that Ardent Sensor, so we can get that extra attack speed, so we get more passive procs, and then obviously the on-hit damage. And then increase our shield and healing by a bunch as well. So our W will shield for more, to heal for more as well. And then all of our juicy damage from the 60% AP. Okay, relax, Superstar. All right, Mr. Dodges. Jesus, stand still and let me hit you. All right. Trade a Q for my shield, definitely worth it. Yeah, smart. J4 is here. We just walk away. We hopefully uh, Qs. If he Qs, you pull him under tower. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> The wave shoving to me, I'm just gonna back and reset. Now you got to back and you have 17 farm as my jungler gets a kill in mid lane. I mean, I hate getting ganked, but I feel like I'll do better than my team will getting ganked. So, keep ganking me. We're gonna come out ahead. I got them to waste a bunch of time. They didn't get anything. And then I TP, well, alright, they got my teleport, I guess. But I TP back on like a perfect wave. Like I'm literally ahead in CS right now, and then there's 20 CS like right here. Feels like a pretty good outcome to me. Except when I start missing them. Oof. We're just all in here. That's kind of annoying. Gotcha, bitch. Easy peasy. All right, not bad. He makes it interesting. I don't know. He's not bad. He's playing the trades like well. I go to Q, he baits it and, and blocks with his Q every time. Smart play. And then my E comes out. If he can dodge it, then it's a pretty favorable trade, but he has to dodge every single one, which I think is gonna be difficult to pull off over a long period of time. It'll probably lead to him dying. We'll see. It's a really awkward buy right now. I'm probably gonna get that and this. Not the bad. I was an alpha. No, dude, who cares? He's dead. He went into alpha with like one HP. He's gonna come out and die instantly. Thirty-four, thirty-four. We're coming back to the big wave because we shoved into his tower before we left. Nice. Beautiful. Got all of them except one. Uh, I think it's a really easy kill for us. I 
I think his Q range is the same as mine. And then my Q is kind of slow to cast. And he can dodge super late. It makes it for a kind of awkward trade. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just too much CC. I don't know how he's going to deal with a Rammus throughout the entire game. I feel like Rammus is going to be the super big counter to him. He gets like a Thorn Mail too. Master Yi's going to essentially kill himself every time he tries to auto Rammus. I mean, I could always go with Thorn Mail too, but we're doing a specific build. Thorn Mail would be super good here. Because this guy's probably going to go a bunch of life still as well. Beautiful. He TP'd last time, so I want to try and take a blade here. Uh, their mid lane has four kills, and their bot lane has three. Nice. Oh. At least the enemy's not going to surrender at 15 minutes and throw away my good video again. I've had three videos where like they just surrender at 15 minutes today. I think I just stay here and fight him. Maybe that's stupid. He doesn't have ult, though. I feel like I just win. Like, super hard. Let's die a little bit less. There we go. Ah, oh, someone playing a new champ. That's probably why they don't know how to play it. We don't know yet. Okay, bitch. I'm Mordekaiser. Cut it out. <laughs> I didn't even spend my gold last time, dude. I'm huge. This champion is so ridiculous. Balance champ. Hey, dude. Hey. I outskilled him. You saw all of it. Yeah, I missed my Q. Doesn't matter. I'm playing Mordekaiser. You've been outskilled, sir. See? Look at those two CS. Get outskilled. This champion is truly ridiculous. I try and I, I say this so much. This champion is absurd. Absolutely absurd. If you want free LP, definitely play this. Because right now, it's it, it really is free LP. Probably a little overtuned. I'm not sure exactly what made it overtuned this season. Because there weren't like massive changes to Mord. I'm pretty sure it's just Conk. Just Conk being, you know, even more healing. Just Conk having even more healing. Alright, let's bail. Is Trind good versus Mord? I don't know the ins and outs of every single Mordekaiser matchup, my man. You can go to u.gg and then type in the champion and then it tells you all the best counter picks. Wow, they didn't even pay me to say that. Unbelievable. Things I do. I might just get the Rylize just because I can buy it right now. If I could have bought the other one, I think I would have. I could have sold both my small items for it, but... I don't know if selling, you know... 750 gold to get 100 gold. Is that smart? Yeah, they are so fed. God damn. Because the problem is this guy's going to scale still. Like, yeah, I'm beating him, but he's still going to scale. Lame. In Zyra we trust, boys. In Zyra we trust. And that's why we trust her. That's why we trust her, boys. Good job. She got two. We'll take it. I'm just gonna keep rushing here. All right. Push, push, push. Wave shoved in. I'm gonna go ward real quick. I'm just gonna be really, really aggressive here. Oh boy. I'm gonna try and move this way. Is there a ward there? I'm gonna TP. Hey, go, go! It's <sighs> pretty disappointing, man. He even jumped forward, dude. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe he didn't have taunt up. 
they did it. They did it, boys. Oh, that was so important to land. Come on, dude. If I landed that, I probably could have gotten a kill. He messed up and he queued before I uh, queued. So I should have really won there. Oh, he just TP'd bot. All I can do is push here. I don't have TP. He TP'd into a Ramus though, so I don't know how the hell that ever is going to work. <laughs> you gotta be careful about this guy. Yeah, I don't think we want to fight where Katarina's going to come in and kill all of us. Oh, he sniped her. Nice, some good damage. I might take top tower here. They're coming here. I think we just give that up, boys. It's not a big deal. Major thing is not getting collapsed on. You can fight two people, but don't fight four. As long as they don't fight the other people. This is great. This is great. Defeat in detail, baby. Some Napoleon shit right there. So I like to see. We actually had number of disadvantage on the entire area, but the way we used our three against their four, we attacked two at a time. So it became three against two instead of waiting for them to collapse on us. Then it would have been four against three for them. That would have been bad. We keep numbers advantage. All right, let's leave. Going sort of ardent. Probably should have just sold that first and right clicked it, but fair enough. Got first tower and all the plates right there. Super good. Nice, that guy got a kill. We can come back here. Nice. John was dead. I like the call. I like the call. Read in detail. Good turn of phrase. Someone has been reading. Oh, I like military history. A lot. And they have some like crazy good YouTube videos now. Whether it's like all animated. Some good ones are Kings and Generals. That's a good channel. History Marsh, that's a good one. I think Epic History TV is the name of the other one. That's really good. There's like 10 or 15 of these channels. Hey man. That's where I wanted to go, come on. <laughs> Whatever. Guess not. Hissero Vasilis, yeah. Another one. There's a lot. A lot of like Western stuffs. The Kings and Generals one has a lot of the Eastern stuff, which I've been liking recently. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Oh, they're definitely gonna come fight me. LOL! Bro, I am huge. Imagine trying to do that to a Mordecai. You crazy, son. You crazy. Whew. All right. So after we pop the shield, we get the increased attack speed and on hit damage. Pretty useful. And then obviously we still get that 60% ability power. 10% CDR, both amazing stats on this champion. And then we're increasing our movement speed by 8% and then our healing and shield power by 10%. Then 10% of our shield power, if our shield is doing what, 35% of our health? That's an additional 3.5% of our max HP. It's pretty good. Pretty good. No, it's not good missing all that farm because I suck. All right, I'm gonna try and walk over here. Try and steal this away real quick. I do have that rift still. Beautiful. A uh, quick rundown of Mord. I mean, I played this champ three times trying for this video. So I probably forgot to do this. If I did it already, I'm sorry. Uh, this, after three basic spells, you can see him right here. One, two, three. After hitting three basic spells with three auto attacks. Oh, I missed. Hold up. 
Hey, man. Hey, dude. Hey, man. <laughs> Where are you going, pal? <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, poor guy. <laughs> that was so good. Where is he? Where was he going? Oh, man. <laughs> He's just trying to like run in a circle. <laughs> like he did it pretty well in lane phase. Like early lane phase, he played pretty well. Like he was using his abilities correctly against me. It made it like really difficult for me to get any lead at all. But like as the lane goes on, I know I'm just going to get to this point where it just doesn't matter. If I ever land one thing, you're just done. And then it even gets to the point where I can just press R on you, not even land anything, and you're still done. But yeah, you see that big circle? That was my uh, passive. Oh. So we're gonna pop this right here. We're gonna die instantly to the Katarina. Goodbye. Okay. That guy does a lot of damage. Uh, I'm gonna go for my Landry's next. I'm gonna get Spellpin Boots here. Get this here. Yeah, so this, after three basic auto attacks or abilities, any mixture of the two, you get... Right now it's doing 70 damage plus 4% of the enemy's max health per second around him. And he gains 9% movement speed. It's honestly ridiculous. I don't understand how this is. And then if that's not enough, also when you basic attack, you get 40% of your ability power. And that's on top of like your regular auto attack damage. You get 40% additional damage, which is 91. And then we're, we're increasing the attack speed off of this. We're getting more of those empowered auto attacks off. Then we're getting more on hit damage here as well. That's not what I want to hear. I don't want to TP here, dude. It's gonna be awkward because he has Rage Blade now. Rage Blade is super painful. Let's get wild, baby. Let's get wild, baby. Where are you going? I'm killing everybody, dude. This champ's insane. Hello. Como te llamas? Me llamo Mord. Let's go, baby. Should be able to get this easy. Nice. Look at the extra attack speed. Juicy. I'm gonna go bot here, push this wave out. 10 stacks on this already. Let's get 1600 gold back by. Let's go. Uh oh, give me that. Beautiful. Bush is a wave. Coming back. This guy still has 10 kills. We're going to try and ult him a lot of these fights, I think. I want to get all the farm. Nice. This guy's catching up now. All right. All right. He's coming back in the game. That's what I like to see. Alright, back. Grab this. Ooh. I don't know. Alright, go for Zanya's next. Get this right now. Obviously, I'd buy a stopwatch right there. If I had enough gold to upgrade this, I would upgrade that right there. Into my Magi's. I have neither, so I will get an Amp Dome. I want to spend my gold somehow. I could have got Pink Wards there. That would have been fine as well. I really don't want to go all in with them. Hmm. It might just force me to, though. I got pushed very quickly, but... Hmm. They're rotating people here. Like That's not good. So I have to back. We have to deal with this. Uh... I have to run here. That's a tilde. Flash over the wall, I can't see him. Mm, please just listen to the pings. God damn. I'm going to lose this fucking game, aren't I? God damn. Just stop trying to make a pick happen, dude. Just back the fuck up. We have to deal with this guy in bot lane. How do we win the last fight? I got a fucking triple kill. So maybe wait for me to be around before we try and fight. 
So essentially just lost the game off of that. I have to make a ridiculous play now. Oh man. Let's hope they don't take too much of the Baron play. Like their one weak person is a guy who scales insanely hard. He can go one and seven and then take over the whole fucking game. So it's pretty important to like close out the game correctly and not just like randomly throw in their jungle for no fucking reason. Like they're still ridiculously strong. They're gonna one shot you. Like let's not do stupid plays. This is different. Pick this guy. This is stupid. I don't know what he's doing. He's getting away. That's what he's doing. Oh man, we suck. I might be able to get that. I have to go defend this shit. Yeah, I'm going, bro. Where's that flash? Okay, let's pull the wave over here. All right, they're kind of wasting their Baron, to be honest. They lost three people already. Hope they keep throwing. Because they had a he he huge, huge opening just to win the game for free right there. All they had to do was group up one time with Master E splitting. But they had two people group up. Group up. They had two people together that died to three of ours. And then Yi had to run away with Flash. Not very good. And they're like, they don't even have pusher, uh, they don't even have pressure in the waves. Like, all the waves are pushed into them. Which is not what you want to do with Baron. Definitely take vision control of this area. I wanna go shove mid real quick. Mid control gives vision control over this area. Because we can stand there now. So we don't have to worry about covering this mid wave. Like pressuring into our tower. Dude, we gotta force the fight. Good old buddy. We're good, we're good, we're good, I'm good. I can do it by myself. Don't worry. He's just gonna be splitting all game. It's gonna be a pain in the ass, but I'm gonna have to deal with it. Mm, I don't know if I actually beat him in the fight right now. When he's got no stacks, I definitely beat him. But when he's stacked up like right now, when he has his Rage Blade, six stacks, then if he's smart, he tries to wait for a double hit as well. And then he starts to fight with all that. That's when it's a trouble. Like right now when he doesn't have anything, I can just walk up and eat him. I'm trying to figure out where he's backing. Oh, my team's kind of trolling. I don't know why we're there. Let's not be there. No, no, no. All right. We need Ramus to come make a play on this guy, and then we can group. It's like the easiest way to do it. So Ramus just comes and taunts him. This is not as easy. She can miss spells very easily. Like this. Just get 100 to 0. It's one way to lose your Zhonyas, or your Magis. He loses to Axel it immediately. It costs 10.50 to upgrade, Get uh, you get 9.80 when you sell it. So it's an 80 gold, or 70 gold uh, spend to see if you get it stacked up and you do well. If you do, good, nice, it worked out. If not, sell it, lose 70 gold. I mean, you lose the 350 from the Dark Seal, but you're gonna sell that anyways. It's a teleport here in 10 seconds. I need to try and find a play on like a few people at once. Or I need to be there for the, like the entire fight. But they're just slowly taking all of our towers and we don't really do much. 
I'll teleport back over here. We need to win like a decisive engagement and actually push out and take stuff so we get pressure. Yeah, you can have that. Need to find a fight, boys. Like right here. Are you kidding me? Kill that guy. Dear god, this place is horrible. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Whew. Okay. What do you get shut down by Tristana? Alright. I know, I'm gonna have to go answer him again. We need Ramus to go with me, kill him, and then we make a play. That's how it works. That is the way to deal with it. Otherwise, we're just going to be running around like goofballs the entire time, hoping to get lucky and have them int into us. I think that's the route we're going to take. And they might int into us. Are they winning that? Good. Oof. All right, they're winning that. They need to chase J4. Uh, they're not gonna chase J4. I don't think they do Baron. Can they do it by themselves? Can you guys do that shit? And then I take this. Watch your W for the attack speed. Jesus Christ, man. I don't know how giant my hitbox is, but I really feel like I dodged that EQ, but apparently not. It's whatever though. I got the tower, cracked it open. We get this. Wanna reset, set up this dragon. This is fourth dragon, I'll be alive for it, so it's fine. Uh, 30 something, I'm 30 something. Hmm. I'll have to set up vision, I'll have to run there. I'll, I'll be late. Hmm. Might be rough. I see the TP because we need some pressure, man. I'm really trying to, I don't know, maybe I should have just ran right here, trying to take this out. Because that would have given us pressure in top lane. So what ends up happening is they, if, <laughs> like we might win a fight, but we don't do anything. Like we got to push across the map. We got to take towers. Just all the waves are always shoved to us. Always shoved to us. Always in our side of the map. They have to just go slow. Just gotta wait for me. Once I'm here, we're good. Oh, Jesus. That's good. Good. Nice job. That was really nice. Whoever did this engage over here, the important thing there was so Jarvan got jumped or Jarvan jumped on our ADC in the back, but whoever stopped them all from going in, I'm pretty sure it was like a triple CC combination by this, this, and this guy. They did a really, really nice play right there. Because they stopped all three of them from following up on our back line. That was very good. Oh, yeah. Went right by it. Get the increased attack speed off the Ardent. Gotta be very careful here. Let me just leave. 100% just leave. Don't do anything stupid. All we gotta do is back, reset, and we're good to go. Sweet! Good job, boys. I'll be honest, I thought the game was over with that Baron play, but they threw super hard after it. The team's actually been playing pretty smart. That last engage was really good. Or not engage, it was a disengage. Like, they were engaging onto us. I mean, honestly, the Katarina 
I would have taken that same play. This guy was in the middle of nowhere. Katarina could just run, jump on him immediately. Ooh. Oh, they're catching. I'm making a pick. I'm looping around here. They should just keep walking forward. There's a chance we find somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? What are you gonna do, buddy? Come on. <laughs> Let's be real. We just walk right past the end of the game. Whoo! Late game Mordekaiser, baby. Hey, things go well when they team fight with me, huh? Ah! It's not Zanyas. It's not even close. This more champion is ridiculous, boys. I'm telling you. We did it! They didn't surrender! Dude, I've had three videos where I've done well today. I've had a bunch where I did bad. And obviously those don't make it to YouTube as well. But we had three that did good and then the game just like... They surrendered at like 17 minutes, 15 minutes, 16 minutes. Definitely not fun. And then I thought we were going to lose this one to be honest. So we got depressed pretty quick there. <laughs> I'm glad we won the game. Holy moly. Number one damage in the entire universe. I like it. That's what I like to see. Not bad, not bad. Uh, does it still show? Nope. I should have checked before the game ended. Doesn't show how much damage you did. I should have checked before the game ended. God. Oh my god. This thing is so stupid. So stupid. 6,600 6, healing. Oh, crazy. It's a tier... It's not even like a keystone. It's just like a regular rune, dude. It's insane. You just get so much healing off of that. This champ busted. Anyways, GG up late. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. I was just going to get death cap after. That's going to be my final build right there. Or item. But yeah, anyways. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Make sure to tune in next time. I'll catch you guys then. And yeah, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like the video. Subscribe for more content like this. If you're watching on the live stream, make sure to follow the live stream. I stream every single day, 6 a.m. to 12 noon EST. Make sure to follow the live stream. Click that subscribe button. See if you have a free Twitch Prime sub available. Drop that free sub on the channel if you got one. If you have Amazon Prime, connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account. You get Twitch Prime for free, allowing you to sub once a month to the stream of your choice. Anyways, GG Well Played. Truly delicious. Thanks for the Prime sub, buddy. Welcome back. 14 months. GG Well Played. Peace.